Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 45. First, the problem statement. A group of students participated in a course which has four subjects. In order to complete the course, a student must fulfill below criteria. The first criteria is students should score at least 40 marks in each subject. The second criteria is student must secure at least 50% marks overall, assuming total marks is 100. Now we have to write SQL query to print the results in the blow format. So this is the output table format. But before that, first we'll look at the input table format. So input table have three columns, student ID, subject ID and the marks. If you see the distinct subject ID, we have four distinct subject ID, one, two and three and four. So if you see the output table, we have a student ID and four different subjects, subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four. And then we have to get the total marks column and the result column. So we have the criteria that the result column should give pass if the student scores at least 40 marks in each subject and a student must secure at least 50% marks from the overall subjects. So this is the criteria and we have to achieve the output table like this. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. But before proceeding, I have one request. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe it so that you will get the updates whenever I will upload new video. We can solve this problem by number of ways, but I am going to solve this problem by using very simple case statement. So before proceeding further, first let's see our input table once again. So exam score is the table name. So I am going to fire this select star from exam score. So you can see this is the data. We have a student ID and corresponding we have subject ID, four different subject ID and their corresponding marks. So now I'm going to start. So I'm going to select first student ID column. So I'm going to replace star with student ID. After that, I'm going to drive the subject one column. So for that, I'm going to use case statement. So case when subject ID subject id is equal to 1 then ma then, then marks else 0 and i'm going to end this case statement and will give alias as subject 1 so if i run this piece of code let's see what output we are getting so you can see we have for student ID 101 for subject wherever there is subject 1 we are getting the marks for other subjects we are getting 0. So uh, so what I am going to do now I am going to use some function some aggregate function and I am going to close this bracket and after that since I have used some function I'm going to group by group by student ID. So what it will do? It is going to do a sum for this uh, whatever marks is there for this student ID. So now you got the marks for subject one uh, for each student ID. Now what are we will do now? I'm going to do same things for other subject as well so i'm going to copy this will be for subject two this will be for subject three this will be for subject four and then i'm going to replace one with two here three here four sorry subject id equal to four here subject one will be two here will be subject will be three and sorry 3 
here subject will be 4. So if I run this piece of code, so you got all these uh, subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4 and this student ID. Now we have to drive another column with total marks, right? So I'm going to put comma over here and then simple I'm going to use sum and of marks. So all the marks for that uh, that student ID will be summed up and will give as total marks. So if I run this piece of code, so you got the total marks. Now I'm going to drive another column called status, which will tell whether the student has passed or failed. For that, we have the criteria. Uh, we have basically two criteria. First criteria is whether uh, the student has scored at least uh, 40 marks in uh, each sub in each subject and the second criteria is that overall uh, percentage of marks should be uh, should be greater than or equal to 50 so for that i am going to use case statement case when case when mean of marks should be greater than equal to 40 and and for 50 percent uh, of 400 marks is 200 so sum of marks within that group should be greater than equal to 200 and and that student should take all the four subject right so for that i'm going to use count of marks should be equal to 4 because we have to that student has to take all the four exam uh, sorry sub subject is equal to uh, 4 then then a student will will be considered as pass else that else the result will be fail and then i'm going to end this and I'm going to put alias as status as a status so if I run this piece of code here you go you got the desired result right so this is how we can solve this problem by using a case statement and if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem, please do write in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, write comment in the comment section. And if you have liked this video, please give thumbs up. Don't forget to give thumbs up. Thank you and thanks for watching.